In this example, I'm going to add and subtract two functions. So I'm given two functions, an f function and a g function up top. And they asked me to first go ahead and add those together. I know that because, duh, it has a plus sign. Uh, and then it asked me to subtract those functions, f of x minus g of x. Now, those could be any functions. They could use any letters. They could ask you in any order. So just be sure you're uh, doing this the correct way. So I've gone ahead and started uh, by writing down my two uh, expressions this time. So there's my sum. Uh, notice I put each uh, function in its own set of parentheses and that doesn't really matter too much for adding but it will make an important um, difference uh, for subtraction. So when I'm adding I want to go ahead and add up any like terms that I have. So a 4x and a negative 9x are like terms. So those will add up to negative 5x. And then, of course, uh, positive 3 and positive 5 are like terms. 3 plus 5 gets me 8. Uh, so that new expression becomes the sum of the two functions. So negative 5x plus 8 is what I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, if we switch over and subtract these, and uh, remember it was f of x minus g of x, so I wrote them down in the correct order. Uh, this time, the parentheses do make a difference. Because I have that subtraction sign outside of parentheses, I'll need to go ahead and distribute that subtraction sign to everything after. Or what I like to do, I like to just not even deal with subtraction. I'm just going to make that an addition sign right away. And I can do that, but I have to change all the signs after this. So that would have to become a positive 9x, and that would have to become a negative 5. If I do this, uh, I'm just going to now go ahead and add up like terms again. So I've got 4x plus 9x now. That becomes 13x. And then I've got a positive 3 plus a negative 5, and that will add up to negative 2. So 13x minus 2 becomes the difference of those two functions, f of x minus g of x.